The Oregon Trail, an educational game teaching kids about the real-life Oregon Trail. The game I'm talking about, The Oregon Trail, is used to educate people on how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Don't look at me weird, it could happen. So you start the game in analysing the situation, you're screwed. If you can't work out that waist-high walls only work in Call of Duty, you are clearly someone who is not educated in zombie apocalypse. Remember, the threat of zombies is real. Call of Duty is completely faked. Fortunately, you're saved by a guy called Clements. He takes you to his car and you're off. Clements has a broken arm. Clements has dysentery. Clements got bitten by a zombie. This is the guy that saved me? A man that breaks his arm driving a car and doesn't wash his hands? I feel really inadequate. So you travel across America to get to a safe zone free of zombies, but the government was a bit stupid because they only put one safe zone and it's on the other side of the continent. You might as well publish a picture of the president saying, screw you, I have a private jet. So you go get supplies while Clemens goes to find your friends. Wait, is that wise? He was bitten by a zombie. Is he gonna come round the corner saying, oh dude, I was just so hungry. By the way, I found your friends. There's only one option. I have to put Clements down. Now, I know you got me my car, my friends, your journal supplies and you saved my life, but then I realise... I've known you for like two minutes and couldn't care if you died fording a river. So with all loose ends taken care of... One moment please. So now with all loose ends taken care of, we can make our way to the safe zone. But if we're going to travel such a distance, I might as well make the most of the scenery. I've always wanted to go to America. I could visit Indianapolis, Chicago, strip club. Hell yeah! Whoa, since of that, kids might be watching. Of course, in the zombie apocalypse, zombies aren't the only thing to worry about. You've got rival gangs who are trying to survive, but you have to feel sorry for them. They're just trying to get through with this in one piece and where, where are you trying to steal my stuff? Oh, you're dead, bitch. Wow, a giant bike again and they can't even realise they're about to drive into the back of my car? Who says Americans are stupid? Has it ever confused you that only humans can turn into zombies? Well, that plot hole is covered here. Introducing Caribou. Man, Santa's gonna be pissed. Fortunately, they're just as easily fooled as the biker gang. What would you rather go up against? A group of large, brainless animals? Or the Caribou? But let's not get ourselves sidetracked. The real problem here is the zombies. One thing that you can be sure about is that zombies will never catch you in a straight line. Another thing you should note is that no zombie has genitals. Must suck to be them. While this game may be designed educationally, it probably shouldn't be relied on as your sole source of learning. Remember kids, stay in school. Because it's a secure building and zombies won't get in easily. Well, I hope you learned something today. Would you like to learn something else? Clicking the subscribe button gives you free candy. Try it, it'll take 6 to 8 weeks to happen providing you stay subscribed. This isn't a cheap trick, I'm being serious. Hope to see you soon, but until then, TTFN.